everyone, this is Indy, and this is just a quick follow-up video to update you on the effects of the changes from patch 4.0.6 as they apply to Disc Priests. Now, as you know, our shield used to absorb a rather unimpressive amount, as you can see here, just under 11k. Disc Priests weren't also throwing much into Mastery, as it really wasn't a highly coveted stat either. Let's proc an Aegis here to compare as well. Now, Divine Aegis still stacked before the patch, but it only absorbed for a very small amount. As you can see here, 6,601 damage. Now, let's fast forward to see some of the changes in action. Here's a Power Word Shield cast with no raid buffs post-patch. Now, as you can see, it's now more than double its old potency. It also costs more to cast now, though I haven't really found myself suffering from mana much as a result of this. Now here's a screenshot of both Power Word Shield and a stack Divine Aegis on myself. This is the max I could get Aegis to stack, as there is a hard cap that's based on the level of the target. Now these are again unbuffed numbers, though I have reforged more points into mastery since the patch. Conditions won't always permit us to stack these kind of absorbs on our targets, but it's still nice to know how well they've been buffed. So now I'd like to briefly just go over a QA. Um, I get multiple questions that may deal with the same thing, and I feel that they could be best answered this way. Um, hopefully it helps people out and also gets all the questions answered um, as best I can. So that said, we'll take four or five today and just go through them. The first one's dealing with click, and I did get a lot of messages about click. Perhaps you started using it uh, recently after the UI video or you downloaded Alien as UI pack and you're coming off of Healbot. And it is a different setup, but click is truly awesome once you get it set up. It's um it's really customizable and especially if you're a holy priest, most importantly, it's the one click healing mod that I've found that will work with your holy words. So Going into the key binding configuration should be easy enough. It tells you you're in click binding mode, and from your spell book, you can just go through and set up your key binds. Once you've done that, I've gotten a lot of messages from people saying, you know, it's not working, I'm on top of my grid, and it's still not casting anything. So making sure, just first off, because the one thing that would prevent this from happening is your blacklist. Go into options and hover over frame blacklist. Once you're in here, going back up here. Once you're in here, you'll see a series of checkboxes. If the box is checked, that means that it is blacklisted from your click key bindings. So making sure that going through this list, depending on how many um, unit frame add-ons you have, the list can be quite long. So just go through and make sure that the boxes are unchecked next to wherever it is that you want to be able to have the effect of click healing. So, so in my case it's grid. So I make sure those boxes are all unchecked and then we are able to effectively click heal pretty much anything on top of my grid. Okay, so let's quickly touch base on one other thing dealing with click. I was getting questions regarding this and I really want to answer it because with click you can make a custom macro and set up your holy words to be a click or keybind. It just requires you using a, um, a macro and it's really easy to set up. Now, let me open this and just show you. Um, we'll zoom in on that so that you can copy it and I'll also put it in the description of the video because all you really need to do is make a custom macro with this exact um, text. Now it will say Holy Word Chastise, however that is the default. So if you're in a heal chakra and let's just say you know you're using that click key binding at the time and you want a Holy Word Serenity on somebody then it will go ahead and default to that just giving you an example, I'll show you this. So we'll activate chakra, we'll get ourselves into... Okay, so now it's not Holy Word Chastise, as you can see down here, but I can still click and heal on myself with Holy Word Serenity because it was active. So yes, it does work, and um, I haven't had any problems with it yet, so if you are familiar with making custom macros, it's super easy and super easy to set up and click. So hopefully this works for all of you and makes things a lot easier on your healing. Okay, moving along. Um, I'm getting a lot of feedback about, you know, 
people liking the videos, enjoying it for what they are, but a lot of people disagree with either this or that or this suggestion or, or that rotation or uh, what have you, and I'm perfectly happy to receive all of the feedback. And as a matter of fact, I do take a lot of it into consideration, but when I'm comfortable with my heel style and I'm effective with what I'm doing and people aren't dying and I'm not going um and like I've developed my own style that's what you need to do for yourself as a healer as well in cataclysm there's so much diversity and there's not a static rotation and I do try to emphasize that in my videos while there isn't a direct right way or a, a complete wrong way to heal you know as long as you are keeping people alive you're effective at healing you're um, you're, you're not going out of mana then you're doing what you need to be doing as a healer and you don't need to go to elitist jerks or theorycraft to the point zero zero decimal and, and obviously if that's the kind of healer you are that's great but it's just not you know it's not what I do and um, so yeah I mean perfectly fine to send me suggestions and I do appreciate them but um, we can agree to disagree as you know as long as my uh, way of healing works for me I'm gonna stay with it and you'll probably continue to see it that way in my videos unless there's like major patch changes coming around the corner in which case I try to give everyone a heads up on that uh, that said moving along to the next question um, I do get messages from people who are also in their guild, either healing officers, class leaders, uh, healing raid leaders, and um, a lot of them had been dealing with whether or not you need to know the ins and outs of every healer in your raids, spec, rotation, abilities, etc. Now, while it's good to have an overview, in my case, I've never really played a resto chamois, so having one of those in my raid I like to know what they have available. I don't care to know the rotation. I, I don't care to learn their class because it's not really, it's not your responsibility as a healing officer. While it could help, certainly if you had an alt and you're playing these or you're learning these, it's really not your job to learn the ins and outs of every healing class. Um, in our raids, we have a channel just for healers so that feedback can be tossed back and forth. I give out healing assignments and healers are always giving feedback and suggestions and, and, and ideas so it's more working together that works better than having one person you know uh, quote unquote know it all and just tell everybody else what to do. Uh, generally that doesn't work for some people it does but my suggestion is to get more of a team atmosphere going from all of your healers especially if they're of different classes and specs. The last question I'm going to take today is, um, and this is actually the one I've gotten the most feedback on, it's kind of funny because PvP is not my forte. Yes, I'm going to be putting a video out of disc killing. Recently, we've been having PvP nights in guild with raided battlegrounds, and um, I've been enjoying it, having fun. I've been building up some resilience gear. I am not a pro, I, I PvP as disc, I do it for fun, and yes, I'm going to be making a video probably this week um, just showing that, but you know, it's not going to be some sort of pro PvP video because again, I do it for fun. I'm more into PvE than I am PvP, so, but yes, there is something uh, in the works for that. And also, stay tuned for the March contest video, I'm coming up with something really cool to give away, so also stay tuned for that. Thanks for the subscriptions, thanks for the feedback, and thanks for watching guys.